what is a pulse and why is it important to have a rapid pulse uh, in your business and your firm and, uh, and how, to, how to speed up execution um, in a business uh, like how we're doing it right now. You can use this as a problem solving diagram to think where are you lacking, right? So I'm not gonna dive into any one of these things here. Instead, I'm gonna share with you three things that if injected into this can have a very fast impact on you having more freedom and clarity and as a result, more profit and revenue in your firm. I'm gonna share these three ideas with you and then we have a different agenda where we'll be going through how you're going to manage your email in the future and how you're gonna manage your calendar. So I will now share these three very powerful, powerful iterations that we've made um, when it comes to increasing the pulse of your company. Okay, so companies that grow fast or improve fast, pulse fast. What I mean by pulse is it's, uh, it's essentially a rapid communication system that catches things before they become problems and gets things done rapidly. So a pulse is, is basically like you, put, like you feel your pulse, right? It's basically like you having a constant pulse on everything going on in your business. So when I say pulse fast, the number one needle mover is operating. I want everyone to write this one concept down. This is not going to be complicated, not a lot of work. Operating on a weekly pulse. Okay. I don't want you to think about meetings. I don't want you to think about any of the other hows. H O W. Okay. Don't think about any of the hows. Okay. All of us have made a tremendous amount of progress putting our stake in the ground on quarterly rocks. Okay. However, what happens is the next step is we lose track of what must occur for the quarterly rocks to not be delusional pipe dreams, as I frequently tell my team, right? The way that you fact check a quarterly goal is by having a strong weekly pulse, okay? Run your firm like a tech company. A tech company is constantly making updates to their software, to their app, to their technology. They have product development teams. They have marketing teams, right? And the way that tech companies run is they have, they run on something that's called agile. And there's in, in rapid project management, like agile, there's something that's very, very important. And it's, it's this, it's the, uh, it's all of the projects that are in queue with deadlines and responsible parties attached to them, right? So I'm going to share with you the answer to a strong weekly pulse is actually having a strong daily pulse. Next, email management. Okay, this comes from, this is how I've delegated it internally. Um, so you guys can kind of steal this as you're limiting yourself to 30 minutes maximum in your email per day. Starting today, you are not allowed to spend more than 30 minutes in your email inbox ever again. Less than 30 minutes a day, max. You can put them in your calendar early and late. That's it. Two logins max per day to your email inbox with the goal of getting completely, not, never having to look at your email for days at a time. And I can tell you it's real and it's possible. Okay, so I want you to not only go to 30 minutes a day, I don't want that to be your goal. I want your goal to be not logging into it for 48 hours and having no worries about it. Okay. 
every minute you spend, like, here's what happens. If you, if you open up the email, it's unpredictable what you're going to get sucked into. And as an entrepreneur, you are a problem solver. That's, that's how you've gotten here. That's how you, that's how you've been successful. So natural human tendency is to, is when you see problems occur, especially if you take it personally, you're going to dive in and then spend an hour plus or something on an email response. So there's four options when you log into your email, delete it, delegate it, deal with it, or drag it. Okay. So delete, delegate, deal with, drag, delete, delegate, deal with, drag. Okay. You can only choose one of these four options when you log into your inbox. So five organizational folders. If you decide you're going to drag this, okay, dragging means you're going to drag it into five kind of somewhat folders, okay? So in your inbox, you need folders of where how things are organized, right? This is a suggestion. You don't have to follow this suggestion. I just know that this works. If you're going to drag it, okay, drag it to your end and you want to handle it that by the end of the day, end of day folder. If it's something you want to handle at the end of the week, drag it into your end of week folder, okay? If it's a casual follow-up thing that you don't want to delete, you put it into your casual folder. If it's a follow-up, which means it's something that you need to follow up on, that's another category. And if it's an ongoing project, that's a way, that's another way you could label. The bottom line is you don't got to follow these. All you got to do is figure out how are you going to categorize your inbox so that you can manage and step away from your inbox. Okay. Two calendar blocks, 15 to 20 minutes a day to manage your inbox. That's it. You'll thank me later. Okay. Now here are a couple bonus tips. Number one, five sentence responses max. Enforce you and your team. You are not ever from this day forward ever allowed to write an email that's longer than five sentences. Okay. The next one is get into a, a pulse of checking your spam folder. Sometimes very important emails go into your spam folder and it's important to have a, a pulse on that, right? That's it. <laughs>